So guys, quick demo of control double jump inspired by Hansa in Destiny. If you press jump, it's simple jump. If you quickly press double jump, we are jumping but not too high. But if we try to measure the maximum of the jump height and press double jump next to it, then we will acquire the highest jump, like this. Also, if we press jump, and double jump, and then we press in any direction, we are actually not moving anywhere. But if we press jump and then hold the direction, we will actually be uh, moving or jumping on the, uh, the same direction, like this one. This also can be used to manipulate uh, two directions once, like jumping uh, forward and on the left, or right and back. Now let me demonstrate how it works with the platforms. Simply and nicely done. So that's how this feature works. Hello guys, quick tutorial on uh, control double jump inspired by Destiny. It's the first one from little series that I'm going to make and it's the Hunter control double jump. So it's first person character. Uh, you need to adjust only three attributes here, other actually don't uh, contribute uh, much so it's jump that velocity breaking the acceleration falling and air control um, we need to select our character and here we can find a degree called character here we can adjust the number of maximum jump count so here is two We don't need to adjust hold time, because if we adjust it, we will uh, receive the jetpack. Uh, that's the whole setup. Now let me explain the graph. So, as you can see, I have two graphs. Event graph, the main from which I actually cut jump ability. And I created the new one, double jump, and here I adjust this ability. So, first of all, event tick uh, logic. This can be made uh, with a uh, simple boolean to check whether uh, we are on the ground and to if we uh, are on the ground we need to actually uh, reinitialize the jump counter but uh, for quick it's actually this kind of logic. We actually check whether we are on or not on the ground and we do once if it's true, we set it to zero. If it's false, we reset the counter. So this part of logic happens only once. Uh, each time we are actually uh, changing this um, state. So next thing is uh, jump ability. Uh, as you can see, I check whether the jump counter is less than two. If it's so, I increase jump counter by default it's zero. The first one is 1, the second one is 2. Then I jump. Next, I adjust uh, attributes that I told you before. Uh, air control, jump velocity, brake and acceleration fall. Air control helps us to manipulate or glide when we are on uh, in the air. Jump at velocity is initial velocity. So when we press jump, the force is added to our character. And brake and acceleration falling actually uh, checks whether we are falling and if it's so it actually tries to uh, resolve the acceleration on each uh, not acceleration uh, the velocity of our character uh, on each uh, axis so that's my conditions to make this work uh, as uh, in destiny i check whether i have some uh, 
velocity on x and y axis, it means that I'm trying to manipulate uh, my character in uh, the air. So it's ra rather forward or backwards or left or right movement. If uh, they are nearly uh, zero, uh, and if it's not this condition, means that I'm trying actually to manipulate my character, and also my jump counter equal to, uh, I select from uh, these uh, values. So if this condition is true, I'm going with 0 0.6. If it's false, the default value. You can see it right here. Next, jump that velocity. Also check whether my velocity on that axis nearly equals uh, zero. When we actually try to jump, we have the burst velocity, which starts with uh, like this well, 420. Uh, by the time when we are actually hanging in the air and trying to and going to fall, our velocity uh, is decreasing to zero. And then when we are falling, our velocity is negative. It's minus and it's growing up like minus 200, minus 400, etc. To make it work as destiny, uh, like if we quickly press double jump, uh, we actually uh, won't receive much height. We need to receive much height only when we press jump, then we acquire the maximum of our jump height and only then if we press jump one more time we'll receive the highest jump we have that we can receive so to check whether we are on this maximum i'm going to check whether my uh, velocity nil equals zero this error tolerance uh, can be just to actually uh, make the safe zone of double jump uh, much wider so if the condition true uh, i'm going with the 750 if it falls it's 500 and then this one actually checks uh, for the second jump because uh, the first jump will actually be simple uh, height velocity uh, i don't like 420 uh, by default because in Destiny chapter uh, like jumps a little bit higher so I've gone with 500 and uh, yeah if it's the first jump it's 500 if it's second this logic will trigger and it will return if it's uh, pressed on if it's quickly pressed it will return 500 or if it's pressed when we are falling it also return 500 if it's pressed on the maximum jump height, it will return 750. The next thing is to uh, adjust uh, breaking the acceleration falling. It means that we are, if we are falling from uh, like uh, very big height, and we need to actually uh, um, jump in the air to minimize the uh, high damage we need to like jump only uh on the that axis nearly the that axis it means that if we are falling with the high velocity uh, on each uh, axis we need to like withdraw the angular velocity for this one i do this part of logic i check whether my z velocity uh, is less than zero it means that we are falling our z velocity will be increasing in negative values then i uh, adjust uh, break and acceleration to 500 uh, also play around with these values and you will receive the same uh, like you'll receive the result that you want that's actually it that's the whole magic and uh, the demo that you saw from the start actually is with this star I hope you like what you, <coughs> sorry guys, seen. Uh, so please subscribe to my channel, leave your feedback. I also have Discord channel and Patreon, so you can support me if you like. And I guess see you soon.